In this lecture, we're going to talk about a concept called the clausius clapeyron relation. Now, vapor pressure is very important when we talk about this relation. So if you're not sure about vapor pressure, check out the video below. Now, the vapor pressure of a liquid increases with temperature. That means if you heat up a liquid, more molecules will evaporate, thereby increasing the vapor pressure of our liquid. Now, we can also graph vapor pressure versus temperature on an xy plane. And what we get is an exponential curve. Now, the y-axis is pressure, the x-axis is temperature. What this curve tells us is that identical changes on the x-axis uh, produces different changes on the y-axis. So, for example, if we take an identical change at higher pressures, we see that that produces a greater pressure difference than at lower temperatures. And that, and that is clearly seen because this guy is much bigger than this guy. Now what this relation doesn't tell us is the slope of the line. It will be very nice if we could somehow find the slope of the line. Unfortunately, the only way to find the slope of the line in this situation is to use calculus and find the slope of the line tangent to the curve at each point. But that's very tedious and uh, takes a lot of work. So, it would be very nice if we could somehow represent vapor pressure and temperature in an easier relation, <clears throat> in an easier function. And mathematically, one of the most simplest functions is a linear function. And a linear function is represented by this equation. y equals mx plus b, where y is our range value, x is our domain value, m is a constant slope, and b is the y-intercept. Now, this is exactly what the clausius clapeyron relation does. These were two scientists who developed mathematically and the experimental result this relationship, where this is our y value, this is our slope, this is our x value, and this is our y-intercept. This is the natural log of vapor pressure of our liquid. This, our slope, is the negative of the change in enthalpy about vaporization of the liquid over our gas constant R. Our x value is 1 over T or 1 over temperature of the liquid and this is a constant that depends on the liquid being used. And if you graph this you get exactly a linear line that has a negative slope shown by this negative sign here. So the magnitude of this value is this value here. And in fact, this is very useful because now if we're given some vapor pressure and we're given the temperature and we know the constant, we can easily find our slope. That is, we can find the change in enthalpy of vaporization. Likewise, if we know this guy and this guy, we could find this guy. And if we know this guy and this guy, we can find the vapor pressure. So it's very useful. And if you want to practice using different problems, check out the link below. Now, uh, let's talk about these graphs for a quick second. Let's compare this graph and this graph. Well, this graph, we see that this way increases in temperature. But on this side, this way is the increase in temperature. Because 1 over a larger number is a smaller number than 1 over a smaller number. So, the larger the temperature, the closer the value will be on the x-axis to 0. And in fact, what happens when this t becomes very large, when it tends to 0, when it tends to a very large number, when it tends to infinity? Well, this becomes 0, and we see that at 0, we get our... Uh, y-intercept, that is C. And this equation shows the same exact thing. When T becomes a very large number, this whole number tends to zero. And so we simply get our log of our vapor pressure is equal to a constant C. And we see exactly that on this graph. Another thing to realize is that the slope or the magnitude of the slope represents our change in vapor or change in enthalpy of vaporization. So for one liquid, this might be the slope. For another liquid, say if this was the slope for water, then alcohol would have a slope of this. 
because alcohol has a smaller change in enthalpy of vaporization. So this would be the slope of alcohol liquid and this would be the slope of say water.